guys are very lucky to be here. Do you believe that? Yes. Yes. Of course, no? Yung demo natin will be all about science, about the canyon water, how it really works. But before I do start my demonstration, sino po dito sa inyo narinig na yung canyon water? Kunti lang. Ulitin ko po, canyon water, narinig na ba? Sinecheck ko lang po. Baka siesta mode kayo eh. But anyway, again, I'm tasked to actually show you how our canyon water works. So, in a medical standpoint, I started my canyon journey when I was still working as a nurse in the hospital. And during my discovery of how wonderful this product is, sobrang na-amaze ako. And I thought for myself, what if I can actually share this to families who are still in their homes, wala pa sa hospital, no? And I can share this with them and actually help the community to lessen the worries, the stresses of the families out there. And that's why I took a little of faith and lo and behold, I am here this afternoon to share with you about candy water. Tanong ko lang po sa inyo, sino na dito ang um, nakainom na ng candy? Mga candy user, madami tayo. Okay? Yung first time to actually see a presentation ko. Meron po ba? Kasi baka nakita nyo ng lahat. Baka ba na lang ako. <laughs> Ayan, I can see some hands. Okay? So again, no, to start with my presentation, I'd like to share with you our body is 70 to 75% water. Agree po ba tayo doon? Yes. Agree naman. Correct. But not all water created equal. And so, right now, as you can see here, sa ating stage, we do have water sample. Baka yung ibang bisita sabi, bakit may mga water bottles dyan sa loob? So, you will actually see later on how these different uh, bottled waters and types of water differ from each other. Okay? So, I'd like to share with you lang a little bit of history about our candid water. Gusto niyo bang malaman? Gusto mo nag-originate yan? No? So, if you do are familiar with miraculous water sources, been there, you know, a lot of people would fly going to Lourdes, France, miraculous waters, they drink the water because they believe that the water is blessed, that's number one. Thank God. And, of course, the water also has special properties. And so, there was a Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Dr. Henry Kuwanda. Siyempre, meron niya scientific backup, no? Gagawa ng paraan yan to discover what was in the water, what made it special. And this uh, very amazing doctor took six decades of his life just to study this. He found out that the water had high alkaline pH. Kaya yung iba, siguro yung conception nila about candid water is it's an alkaline water. But it's not limited to that. Because our candid water is actually rich in extraordinary amounts of active hydrogen. So, ano ba yun? Parang masyadong science yun. Active hydrogen is a representation of your antioxidant. Sino dito, especially sa girls, gusto gusto ng antioxidant? Parang saan ba yun? Uh, later on, I will tell you. Okay? So, later on, the Japanese people, they discovered a technology. They developed one. That's our candid water machine. So, nakikita niyo po dyan, yung mga models natin. And it's not your ordinary kitchen appliance. Just like what Tito JB said, kanina, it's not your ordinary water filter. Not at all. In fact, this machine is ISO certified as a medical device in Japan. That's according to the Japanese Ministry of Health. It's not my word, okay? And it's also recognized by the Water Quality Association with four gold seal certification standards. So, ano ginagawa ko, guys? Pinasabi ko lang sa inyo that this is the benchmark and industry leader when it comes to water ionization systems. Would you like something like that in your home? Hina ko, hina ka, mamaya, palakasin natin. Okay? And so, this is your candid water machine for the ones who have different machines at home. This machine can actually deliver you not only your drinking water, can also give you beauty water. 
So far po ba yung mga pumunta dito sa stage? Do they look young? Tanungin niyo si Tito Jamie yung age siya mamaya. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. You also have a water for the infants or bottle fed. You also have strong canyon and strong acidic water. Which later on, ichichika ko po sa inyo, ano ba yung mga water na yun? But of course, I'm here to actually show you live, no? Hindi na to sa YouTube, hindi na to sa uh, Facebook or sa Instagram. We want to share with you how powerful this water is and why it will change your life. So, Kangen is a Japanese word which means back to origin. Very basic. Mr. Oshiro here wants you to actually go back to how it was before. We had healthy food, correct? Until all the fast food are here. Let's face it. We had water that's very fresh from the bodies before. And right now, all the processes, bottled waters, filtered water, and all of these things. And Mr. Oshiro just really wants you to enjoy this very natural source of health. Okay? So our candid water, number one, rich in active hydrogen or antioxidants, high pH levels, and finer structures of molecules. Pinasimple ko lang po para layman's, but it's actually called microclustered water. So let's go to the first property. I was asking Kanina about antioxidants. We particularly love this because antioxidants are pampabata, pampablooming, right? A lot of people, they use yuca, drips, and everything just to make themselves young. What are they after? They are after the antioxidants. But ultimately, our antioxidants are actually substances that fight free radical damage. Free radical damage vir virtually it causes all the diseases that we have. Right? Pansin niyo po ba ngayon yung mga pamilya natin, no? not atin, but families all over Philippines, most of them, kahit one family, I wouldn't really believe na wala sila sa akin. It's because we're too exposed. We're so exposed to radiation, to, you know, pollution, UV rays of the sun. That's why you want to load yourself up with antioxidant. And so, what if I tell you that the 70 to 75% of your body, which is water, can be that source of antioxidants? Would that be great? Let's go. Yes. check ko lang kung gising pa kayo. <laughs> Ayan. So, I have a chart here, and I also have an assistant here. Siya po yung gagawa ng water demonstration natin. But in this chart particularly, what I want you to notice, it has two sides. Okay? One in the positive side and the negative side. Para lang ng COVID, gusto natin ang negative. Okay? Hindi natin gusto ng positive. Why? When you say positive ORP, that means it's positive for oxidation. Ano ba yung oxidation? Kabaliktan lang po yun ng antioxidants. So again, this is the oxidation reduction potential chart. And what we want is the negative ORP. Negative ORP means negative for oxidation. So from basic lang explanation. But as you can see here, your vitamin C is just around negative 80. Your green tea. Who loves tea? I do. Um, green teas are on negative 100. Condimer oil, squalene, fish oils. These are on negative 200. Now, positive ORP, we will actually check this because we have a device. No? And the device is called the ORP meter. Who uses this device? This is used by Bureau of Fisheries, Wastewater Engineers. To determine kung yung tubig ng mga fish, mataas ba yung ORP or mababa? Why? What happens pag sobrang taas ng ORP? Masyado mabilis yung oxidation na mamatay yung fish. Have you noticed when you go to swimming pools and then kumukulungot yung hands ninyo? That is oxidation by itself. And you don't want that to consistently happen in your body. That's why... We will check now the ORP of these water samples. So we have here tap water. We also have a sample of purified water. We have two brands of distilled water. Okay, this will represent classification. I also have here carbonated or soda water. 
We also have sports drinks and of course soda. Sino pang uminom ng soda? Thank you for being honest, no? Baka last day nyo po uminom ng soda. <laughs> okay? So, um, Raymond Hill will show you the ORP, okay? So, it will be shown here in our um, live fed video. So, Kuya, paano ng ORP? Ayan, that is your tap water. What's in our tap water? It's quarry made. In fact, water district right now don't use ordinary chlorine anymore. They use chloramine, which is four times more potent. So, you really want that done. So, next. We also have purified water, like an iba ba, this is bottled water, purified, it's still around positive 700. Check natin yung ano, distilled water. Steady lang natin sa meter. What's the ORP? Tumaas pa, that's 750. Again, the higher the positive number is, the more oxidation it causes your body. Now, the factors that includes ORP is the storage time, yung mga bottle waters natin, and you know that when they are marketed or when they are sold, it actually took them six months to one year before these bottle waters are actually displayed in your grocery racks. Okay? Now, this is the steel, another the steel brand. Hindi naman magkalayo, magkalapit. In fact, yeah, almost the same ORP. So, we want to try also the soda water. Ang daming mahihilig sa soda water right now. Yan, sobrang taas. 730. 730. Yeah, that's positive for oxidation. Then, let's try our sports drinks. And there you have it. Going positive 800. Sobrang taas. Okay? Soda. Let's check. Still positive 700. Now, again guys, if you remember in the chart, um, positive 300 mark and above causes significant aging already to ourselves. Now, let's try and check our tank and water. Yan, and install pa po si Miss Lali ng machine dito. Just so that we can get the candid water from Makati Sports Club. Sige, lipat natin yung meter. Kuya pa focus na sa or Okay? Perfect. Now guys, huwag mamalikmat ha. Tingnan natin yung meter. What do you see right there? Going down. Going down. And what do you notice? Meron siyang negative sign. Again, when you see a negative sign, what the ORP meter actually detects are millivolts. Yun yung uh, unit of measure natin ng ORP. Which means that the water is electrically charged. But as you can see here, that's around negative 600. Remember how much the ORP of our vitamin C is? Around negative 80, negative 50. In a cup of candid water, you actually can get more than 10 times the potency of your vitamin C. Would you like that? You don't have to think about it. Every morning, you drink a vitamin C. And then, kunwari, ilipat natin yung probes, soft drinks. Maangat agad yung ORP. Bring it back to candid. You get to get the negative value. And that's what you benefit from. Unlimited source of antioxidants. Pinapalapakan po yun. Thank you. And, pabalik na lang po sa slides. Okay. So again, your candy water is antioxidant rich. That's why, every time I hear someone say, ah, candy water, alkaline yun. Not just alkaline, no? Alkalinity is just secondary. What we want is the antioxidants. Bakit tayo kumakain ng gulay, ng prutas? Antioxidants. You want that in your household. And so again, no, we have seen how ano yung mga bottled waters natin. We can also compare it with the tanget. They are two opposite 
holes. Yan pala sobrang laking win na yun. Okay? Now, the number one oxidizing disease is actually cancer. That's why in the American Anti-Cancer Institute, this is actually the number one recommended product for cancer prevention and cure. Guys, this is not the third, the second. This is the first. Because of water, that's 70% of us. Okay? Now, wait, there's more. This is just the first property. Let's go to the next one where we talk about alkalinity and acidity. Ito favorite natin. Ito kasi mas, mas gamay natin yan, no? But it was actually discovered by Dr. Otto Warmer, another Nobel Prize winner doctor, found out that cancerous tissues are acidic and healthy tissues are actually alkaline. In fact, when you are not born yet, you're just in the womb of your mom, you're floating in an alkaline environment. Okay? So, what we want here to know is, why is this relevant? Bakit relevant sa atin yung alkalinity and acidity? How does it affect us? Most of our degenerative diseases are actually caused by too much acid build up inside our body. It doesn't mean that I drink soda today, I get sick tomorrow. Not at all. Naiipon po yan sa katawan natin. That's why whenever you feel medyo pagod ka, madami kang mga niraramdam ng mga sakit-sakit, ipon po yun. Okay? Now, what you want to do from this acidic waste? You want to eliminate that. So how do you effectively eliminate this waste? Number one is, of course, you want a daily bowel movement. You want clear urine. And so if you don't have that, then you're still hoarding acidic waste in your body. Now, the number one thing that will help us is actually water. That's why we will measure the pH of the water according to color. We have a pH tester later on. Raymond will drop. So, pag green po yun, it's neutral. It's not acidic, it's not alkaline. When the water turns yellow green, yellow, orange, that's already acidic. Too much of that equals sickness. Pag nakita naman natin yung water, turn, preferably, what we want is dark blue to purple that's already alkaline. Okay? So, now Raymond will drop this. That's a pH test liquid. You can actually have that in our TV station or some drug stores. But this one, this is a standard test. Okay? Now, kala nyo kanina, pareho lang yung water. But again, not all water are created equal. So you can see here, beyond the naked eye, we have different types of water right there. So you can see yung top water natin. Anong kulay? Oh, walang color blind. It's color green. Okay? Mas mabuti pa ba ang top water kaysa sa mga bottled waters? Yes. <laughs> okay, all of this liquid are safe. Okay? I'm not saying that bad sila, they're not safe. They are safe. They have been regulated. They are bottled. However, there's a very big difference between safe to drink and healthy to drink. You want the healthy drink, right? And so, in the event that we want to filter out our tap water, what we do is purification, reverse osmosis, distillation. What happens? Nawawala na siya ng natural minerals. That's why, as you can see here, with your purified water, it's already enough. Alkaline acidic. Acidic. Distilled water as well. Ano pula yung distilled? Almost orange. Very acid. Why? Because our distilled water are actually dead water. Wala na po silang minerals. Now, I want to share with you my knowledge. Since I'm a nurse, I'm uh, actually very updated with World Health Organization. World Health Organization 2020 released a statement that warns the public about demineralized water, which includes purification and distilled water because it doesn't hydrate you and it contains toxic plastic na naiinom din natin. Okay? Now, notice your soda water. Acidic, sports drinks, and soda. Kanina sabi ko, hindi orange, pero orange sila. Sobra acidic. Now, you look at your tangent water. From your tap water, when you process this, 
it results to candium water, which is dark blue purple. That's the desired color that you want. Okay, now, if this is 70% of your body and you shift drinking to candium water, okay, what have you noticed? Because my kulay naman yan, di ba? So now, let's try our candle water na walang pH-stress liquid. Again, imagine this is your 70%. And you drink candle water. What the water does is it flushes out acidic waste. That's why one of the things that you will notice when you drink candle water, masarap po yung pag-detox natin. Masarap yung weedy natin. And that's actually one of the most liberating parts of living in a healthy lifestyle. Okay? Now notice our soda water. Bakit ba ako nagtanong sino ang may inom ng soft drinks? <laughs> Tumawa si sir, oh. <laughs> Kasi, soda. Notice this. Man, sir, soda is very acidic. The three of them are, you need 28 to 32 glasses of canyon water just to make it neutral. Just to make it the green array. Now, what does it have to take, no? One glass of soda. If you're healthy already and you drink soda, this is what happens. This is the looted soda. Sobrang acidic po nila. Do I tell you to stop? Hopefully you do. I encourage you to. I've been using Canon for 6 years. This man is using Canon for 10 years. We don't drink soda. But if you do choose to drink soda, it's okay. As long as you flush it out. You know, promise mas sarili mo. Okay? So, that's the second property of our Canon water. And now, let's go back to the slides. Ito yung sinabi ko kanina about bottled waters. This is the statement of not ours, but WHO. That's World Health Organization. Now, maybe some of you would ask me, ano ba yung mga alkaline water na nabibili natin sa TV? May mga ganun po ba? Yes. Weren't you curious what and how does Kangen water differ from those? Because I'm very confident our Kangen water machines, they don't have filter stones, mga bato-bato, na nagpa-process ng alkaline water. What the machine does is a process called electrolysis. And so that means na kinokuryente yung tubig to restructure it. In fact, pH stands for potential hydrogen. The higher hydrogen is, the more tataas yung pH. Now, our commercially made alkaline waters are added with minerals to make the water alkaline. And you don't want that. It's very unnatural. Okay? So, that's the second property. Let's go quickly to the third property of Kangen, which we call microclustering. Have you ever noticed when you drink lots of water, feel bloated? Meron po ba? Baka ako lang nakarit. <laughs> when you feel na parang, ayaw mo na uminom ng tubig kasi mabigat sa chat. And that is because most of our regular types of water is bigger clusters of molecules. What does, this mean? Ah, what does that mean? When you have a fence and you throw basketball, tatagos ba? Hindi, di ba? But when you throw ping pong balls to your usual fence, tatagos ba? Yes. Regular water is like basketball and ping pong balls is the candid water. We will show you through a demonstration using a tea bag. Okay? So this tea bag... Ayan. So, makikita niya sa screen. This tea bag will represent your cells and your body. Now, pag gumagawa tayo ng tsaa, anong kailangan? Water na? Mainit. May dapat initin mo na. <laughs> so, gagawa tayo ng tea na... Sige, tap water. Notice in the video, may lumabas ba na tea? Wala. Not. Why? Because the water is not hot. When you boil water, the big clusters of molecules disperses. Luminate sila. But, of course, itong kangen water natin, we didn't boil it. We didn't heat it. Now, pag 
test mo sa kanila, pa-feel natin, maka kumukulong tubig pala. <laughs> Room ten, sir? Correct. Thank you so much. Okay. This one is... This one is candle water. When you drink candle water, what have you noticed? Akala ko magsasayas na sa kong magic class pala. Okay. So, you notice that the candle water goes into the tea bag very fast to take out the tea extra. Okay? Now imagine again that's yourselves. But yung iba, sasabihin nila, basa naman kasi yung tiba. <laughs> check natin with the other types of water. Also check with the distilled. Meron ba? Lumabas? Sasabihin ng iba kasi ubos na. <laughs> check natin yung candle water natin. Okay? Now, <laughs> Yun. Magic, magic. <laughs> Ayan. What have you noticed, guys? Lumabas? Yes. Yes. Again, your candle water has tinier structures of molecules, clusters, no? It passes through the tea bag to take out the tea extract. Like your body, when you drink candle water, you detoxify a lot. Every day in detox. That's why you feel lighter. You don't feel bloated. You drink lots of water kasi walang bloating and at the same time, na-absorb mo for sure ang antioxidants and the alkalinity. Would you want that? Yes. Sino na uhaw na? Gusto na uminom ng kangin? Ayan. Meron tayo, di ba? Tanongin lang po natin sila dyan. <laughs> okay? So again, that's the three properties of kangin water. So it's very powerful. But in fact, sino dito sa inyo familiar with colonoscopy? Konti lang, colonoscopy is a medical procedure to visualize or titignan niyo yung colon. And this doctor here, very famous, world-renowned doctor, Dr. Hiromi Shinya, no? uses candid water and, by the way, developed the scope for the colonoscopy. So he's a world leader in terms of the medical industry sa colonoscopy. He's been using candid water with his patients. And yeah, we don't claim any medical stuff about Kangen, but ito po yung effect niya. Okay, that's before and after. Before and after. Would you imagine if this is you who's not drinking Kangen yet, and you're not able to eliminate waste. Okay? In Japan, this is also approved by the Japanese Association of Preventive Medicine for Adult Diseases. That's over 6,500 doctors. And, as we've mentioned, all our machines are made in Japan, okay? It's not assembled anywhere around the world. It's in Japan and only in Japan. So again, that's your tank and water. I'd love to run through with you the other types of water that this machine does. We have the clean water or the water for the infants or bottle filled instead of using bottled waters. And they can also be used for taking maintenance medication. Now, I just want to correct a misconception here. Taking medication, but that doesn't necessarily mean hindi ka pwedeng uminom ng kangen water. Okay? You can drink kangen water after an hour of drinking your maintenance with the clean water. Okay? Now, beauty water. Favorite water. <laughs> Kasi ang ganda po niya sa hair, ang ganda po siya sa skin. So, you're also considering one in your bathroom. We have an Espa shower. So, it's a mineral ion water activator. It is 10 times super amazing. And the beauty water. So, beauty water also can be used for pet care. Plantita, plantita. Yan. I have a wild jungle at home because of this. Okay? We also have the strong candle water if you're looking into, you know, the greasy oil-based insecticides and pesticides that you actually eat with your fruits and vegetables. You don't want that. This is the strong candle. And these are just the products you can actually replace. Okay? And last but not the least is the strong acidic water. We use this as disinfection. When you go to our homes and we are an avid candle fan, you don't see alcohols or other products sa bahay namin because we only use 
the straw as the lake water. So we don't necessarily buy chemical-based products anymore because we have something very natural in our homes. We even use it if we have um, you know, itchy eyes and everything. Super safe, okay? So again, I just want to wrap this up. Your candle machine can deliver you holistic wellness that you want in your household. It makes five different, wonderful, amazing, different types of water. But most of all, this is a solution to problems that we may not be aware of right now. But actually, these are personal stuff that we hold on to, right? Pagbili ng tubig, mga products sa bahay, sometimes even consultations, maintenance medications, all of this. What if? There's a different way out of our comfort zone and just by changing the water that we need. To cut this up, I'd like to share with you my ever forever quote. No? People lose their health to make money. Most of us do. Sino guilty dito? Yung hindi natutulong, nagtatrabaho, workaholic. Ako lang pala. <laughs> ayun, ayun, ayun. Meron pala ng tas ng kamay. Eventually, some, not all, lose their money to restore their health. Para saan ba yung pinaghihirapan natin? Don't we want to enjoy it instead of enjoying it in a wheelchair with a nurse giving us medication? What if we can be healthy right now, making money so that we can fulfill our dreams and we become as healthy as Tito JV kanina, sobrang taas ng energy, sobrang freedom yung lifestyle niya. That can be possible with a tap and water machine in your home. So my plea to you, if you think this will support your home, if you think this machine is mahal, imagine one hospital visit. This is so small. So again guys, let's scan your water, change your water, change your life. Maraming salamat.